Hello, this is part two of the tutorial series for the Echo 2 Smart Pen. In this video, we will be discussing how to download and navigate the LiveScribe Plus app. The application will look slightly different depending on if you are using a PC, Mac, or mobile device, but all the functions will be the same. Go to us.livescribe.com slash pages slash LiveScribe to download the LiveScribe Plus app to your device. It will provide you with various options for download. Follow the instructions to complete download and installation on your preferred device. Once the installation is complete, you can open the application. You will need to pair your Echo 2 Smart Pen to your laptop to upload your notes and audio. You can pair the Smart Pen to your Mac or PC through Bluetooth or via the micro USB charging cable provided. I recommend using the cable since it's more reliable and quicker. Once the pairing is successful, you will see the status of your pen change to connected at the bottom right corner of your screen. Your notebook will also be added under active notebooks on the upper left corner. I'm currently using the Mac version of the app. You will notice the menu options are listed vertically. There is a notebooks, feeds, collections, calendar, audio, and preferences options. Under the notebooks option is where all of your saved notebooks will be listed. If you click on the notebook, it will show you all the pages you have handwritten notes on, including their page numbers. If you click on the page, you will be able to see a replay of your handwritten notes. However, you will not be able to hear your recording under this tab. If you click on the paper option in the top menu, you will notice several options to export your notes. You can also share your notes to Google Drive, Evernote, and Dropbox. If you go back to List View, you have the option to archive your notebooks to remove those notebooks from your smart pen by right-clicking on the notebook and selecting archive in the drop list menu. The feeds view organizes your notes into smaller actionable snippets sorted in a timeline. It includes the notebook, the page, the time and date, and the text version of your note. Please keep in mind that the accuracy of the text conversion will be dependent upon your legibility of your handwriting. Tag your notes in feed in feed view to label them under favorite, flagged, or tagged by right-clicking on your note. This will move them under the collections tab. The collections tab displays groups of snippets to which you assigned one of these tags, favorites, flagged, or tagged. The calendar option organizes your notes based on the day you wrote them. The audio pencast view allows you to play back audio recordings synced to your notes so you can hear what was said exactly when you were writing. Here you will see the two audio recordings I did in the part one tutorial. You will notice that one audio recording is associated with the notebook and one is not. You have the option of choosing how you want the pencast to appear on the screen, either list view or thumbnail view. If we click on the pencast that has a notebook associated with it, the audio will replay synced with my handwritten notes. Here is my first note. 
first note. No, the notes with audio will appear in green and the notes without audio will appear in black. You can also export your notes as MP4s by going to the top menu, clicking on Pencast and export. Under the preferences view, you will have several options to change various pen settings. Cloud service is where you link your Evernote, Google Drive, or Dropbox accounts. The pen manager view will display options to clear the memory from your smart pen, conduct a master reset, and alert you of any firmware updates available.